You must be the famous Father Brown. There must be many Father Browns in the church. Yet I suspect you're one of a kind. We're aware of your particular talents. Who are your instructions from the highest authority? You will face excommunication for this. I want to thank you for 10 seasons of this wonderful, gentle murder mystery and the um, the humanity lessons that, that your character gives us. It's just a delight to watch. It's one of my favorite shows. Thanks. Thanks, Anne. In terms of the British village mysteries, which seems to be a genre unto itself, and with a lot of religious people involved, might I add, yeah. <laughs> um, it never gets old. Why is it that they can constantly come up with ideas for this very specific kind of world? I think it's because um, it ends in resolution. So you have you set the problem, but by the end of the program, you've got a solution. And you've also seen how that solution's worked way, its way out. I think it's, it's very, very satisfying, you know. Yes, and safe. <laughs> and safe, yeah, so it's, it's going to be okay. Red in, black in, red out. He's got the painting. Thank you, Inspector. One of these days. The painting. The writers provide you with words and actions and uh, the character, but you must know Father Brown so well by now. Do you feel free to make suggestions? I, I've always made, yeah, I, I've suggested quite a lot of storylines, really. So. Oh, my that, word. I do, um, or rather I suggest settings. I say things like um, the nutshell studies of, of unexplained death. Um, um, that was a suggestion of mine. And I, we, we're just doing a, um, a suggestion this season, which was about um, a dance competition. Yeah, I come up with ideas. That's good. That's good. A lot of actors say, oh, no, I wouldn't dare. But I like that spirit. And, and you the, know the other thing is that we have lots and lots of different writers, so invariably they oh, yeah. mm -hmm. have a, 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 their, their, the voice in their head of Father Brown is not necessarily what I would do. So I am sort of custodian of his language. So I, I will kind of elaborate or simplify according to, um, according to what makes sense when we're filming, because I, I think... Uh, possibly people think that once you could get to s film, once you're in this on set, that it's all it's all a fait accompli, but it's not at all. There's always various kind of things mm. that don't quite work or would, or would be improved because of where you are. Right. The photography, you know, especially with murder mystery and stuff, because, you, you know, it says in the script, he comes through the so-and-so door and walks across the... And you, maybe we can't do that, you know. He's got to come through the window. <laughs> that I want to see. <laughs> um, do, do you think about, I mean, I know he's G.K. Chesterton's character, but do you think about what shaped him? I think Chesterton's interesting. Yes, I mean, sure. There was kind of a, a desire, an evangelical desire, on Cheston's part, Cheston wanted to change the world, or rather, he wanted the world to be a better place. Um, so there is certainly that. But I also think that Cheston um, had an enormous sense of humour, and what appealed to him, particularly when you read the first story, is that this is an insignificant person who is unfashionably faithful, who is the solution to the problem. And actually, when you read the first story, the 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 Blue Cross. Valentine, who is the hero, policeman, square cut, you know, jaw led. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. Jaw led, who, yes. I don't know, I just made it up. I'm sorry. That's He's, good. I like it. <laughs> he, he is to be the hero as as he, you know, as he conforms to type, but he's not. And that's just over. I think one of the things we do 
that I'm very proud of is that I think we are very faithful to Cheston's sense of humour. And I think, and I'm not a big, I don't do this kind of thing often, but project, but I think Cheston would like the fact that we, that we, that there is humour in it and that, and that Father Brown can be and is amused. I think it's vital. Yeah. I th and that may be what makes it different from some other series. What does make it different from other series? Well, I think we, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I did a scene yesterday where this, somebody's confessing and to something, and within that she says something that is funny to him, you know, because, he, I mean, it's not a huge laugh out loud, but he acknowledges the fact that what she said is ironic within the situation we've just seen. And that's amusing. Why wouldn't it be? And why would you not register it? Yeah. Seems to me. Exactly. You know, the whole thing about um, method acting and re reality and stuff, actually half the time we watch method acting, it's not reality. It's, oh. it's, an, it's an imposition of a single point of view. Whereas actually people aren't like that, you know. We, right. we, we flicker. Help me then anyway. <laughs> yes. You just made me think of a, a short story by D.H. Lawrence and he's at a convent and his wife is dead and laid out on the thing and the nuns are all around. They all burst out laughing. Yeah. 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 That's Precis real. Precisely so. Yeah. I mean, that that's within us if we've got any mind. Dear Father, I may be known as the King of Thieves, but uneasy lies the head that wears a crown. There is reason to believe I am in mortal danger. I send this key in the hope that you will do me the honor of looking after it. I pray to God that it and I may be safely delivered. In haste, F. Inspector, would you indulge me for a moment, please? Unfortunately, that is a compelling motive for murder. Now, Anglophiles like me um, are fascinated by the idea of the village because there's uh, democracy, there's classism, um, friendships, rivalries, there's like ooh, just a stew of stuff going on. Yeah. Uh, and I wonder if people have made a great migration to the cities in Britain or if villages are still thriving the way they did. Um, well, I mean, there are lots of non-villages where there's no church, where there's no church, operating church, no shop, no school, you know, they're kind of just little dormitories. But um, I think you can find plenty of villages in cities. Uh, I mean, <laughs> the dynamic is is thriving, I think. Yes, <laughs> that's great. Uh, and finally, I just want to say that G.K. Chester must be getting such a giggle out of having this global credit on TV. Yeah, yeah. Every I'm week. Uh, yeah, ha ha. <laughs> when you hear, uh, there's only very few recordings of Chester, but when you hear him, he laughs at his own jokes, which is... <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, I, oh, I, I have to look it up. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Mark. What a delight. Really Thanks, appreciate Anne. it. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, Bye now. Would I be allowed to join in your investigations? First and foremost, the parish secretary must have a tidy, efficient and organised mind. Oh, I like to think my organised, tidy and efficient. efficient mind is a particular strength. Excellent.